Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you click the small plus sign next to the Field Definitions Only folder in the Create New Connection section of the Database Expert dialog box, you'll launch a dialog box that asks you to provide a data schema or a layout that's used to create the report. A data schema is simply a definition of what fields should appear within a table and what properties should be assigned to those fields. However, there is no actual data within the fields. If you use this option, you must select or create a data schema and place the fields from the schema into the report. Then you must pass the report a data set or record set at the time the report's actually viewed using a crystal data object. This driver is mainly used for backward compatibility with older versions of crystal reports. In the Field Definitions Only dialog box, you can click the ellipses mark button at the right end of the Field Definition File text box to launch the open dialog box. You can then use the open dialog box to navigate to the folder where you have saved your field definition file, which should end with a .ttx extension. You can then select it and use the saved field definition for the current report. However, if you don't have a saved field definition, you can instead click the Create File button in the Field Definitions Only dialog box to view the Database Definition Tool dialog box where you can create and save a TTX file for use in reports. In this dialog box, you can define the fields of information that will be utilized by the report, and you begin by typing the name of the first field into the field name text box. Then use the field type dropdown to select the type of data that will be stored in the field. If you select the string type, then you have to input the length of the field and characters into the length text box, which would then appear. You can also provide some sample data in the sample data text box. When you're ready to add the field to the definition, simply click Add to add it to the list of fields below. You can then continue the process, adding all the necessary fields to the table. You can also click on any field listed in the bottom of this dialog box and make editing changes to the information shown above. Then you would just choose Update when you're finished making your changes to save them. You can also select one of the fields and click Delete to delete a selected field in the Database Definition Tool dialog box. Now when you've created the necessary fields for the data schema, just choose File and then Save As from the small menu bar within this dialog box. Use the Save As dialog box to select the location to which you wish to save the TTX file, and then type the name for the file into the file name text box. Click Save to save the data schema. You can then close the Data Definition tool, and in the Field Definitions Only dialog box, you should see a reference to the file you just created listed in the Field Definition File text box. Click Finish in this dialog box to finish setting the newly created schema as the data source. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.